Hey guys, what's going on? Today's a very exciting day as we got our very first official first look at Darth Vader from the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show for Disney+. Plus. That's really going to give us a brand new version of Darth Vader that we have never seen before in Star Wars history. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, I am on Twitter at MikeZero1 if you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow on there. I do make sure to post a couple of entertaining things from time to time and also really make sure to interact with you guys further so yesterday all right was a big day for two different reasons entertainment weekly gave us a host of new star wars obi-wan kenobi images and details about new characters and locations as well as the official trailer by disney lucasfilm for the obi-wan kenobi tv series that really gave us a nice revision of the duel of the fates theme by john williams as well as our very first look at 10 year old luke skywalker we got our first look as well as the live action versions of the inquisitors such as the grand inquisitor and even new inquisitor reva now we have a lot of things happening here now Everything related to Darth Vader. This is something that a lot of fans have been very curious about. And as you can see, all right, we today got our very first look at Darth Vader within his meditation chamber within his castle on Mustafar. Now, this connects to the leaks that we talked about a couple of months ago that Darth Vader's castle is indeed going to be returning. And the Rogue One, a Star Wars story team that worked on the visuals for the Kenobi series, of course, specifically for the castle to come back from Rogue One, actually worked on the show a little bit here and there to really make sure that the continuity was in place and to also make sure that everything was accurate. Now, as far as Entertainment Weekly goes, this is a beautiful image. We have a silhouette of Darth Vader in front of that back to tank, you know, with the meditation chamber, essentially. And it really gives you a very detailed image of his control panel on his chest. It really also gives you that sinister vibe that both Deborah Chow and, of course, Hayden Christensen are going for in the Kenobi series. So this is what Hayden Christensen actually had to say today about Darth Vader's return. He goes on to say, My return as Darth Vader has been so surreal to me. They put me in this big suit and it just felt amazing to be portrayed such a scary character that haunted me when I grew up with the originals. I have to thank Dabra Chow for giving me the chance to portray Vader again. We are going to give fans a different side of Vader both a furious side of him and a more empathetic side of him that we will explain in the series. It's something that we wanted to be very detailed with bringing back Darth Vader, both masked and unmasked. The makeup that they did for me unmasked was just remarkable, and I believe it's going to give fans nightmares seeing this character as the angriest he has ever been. Let's just backtrack a little bit here. The fact that Hayden actually unveiled that this is going to be the angriest version of Darth Vader that we have ever seen, meaning it's going to be even an angrier version of Vader than, we, we, than what we saw in Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. If you guys saw Rogue One, all right, that was going to be pretty much nothing in comparison to what we get in the Kenobi series. And that really goes to show you that Deborah Chow really wants to show us true Vader in his prime and pretty much what he's going through and how you know, a lot of what he's dealing with is what's fueling his anger. We're going to be learning more about the empathetic side of him and the more furious side of him, according to Hayden Christensen. And that, to me, I think really does kind of tell you exactly what's to come. Now, on to, of course, one of the scenes that were filmed for the Darth Vader sequences in the Kenobi series. Separate from what Hayden stated, one of the major scenes that were filmed with Hayden Christensen in the suit involved the sequence in which he travels to a world that appears just like Dagobah, where Vader is walking through knee-deep water toward a large triangular structure that glows red. This appears to be illustrated as a large Sith holocron-type shape that is described to be a part of Vader's adventure and quest in the Kenobi series. Series. Now, obviously, it's not a, in, a enlarged Sith holocron, but it appears like that. And it really brings one the question, what in the world is this structure exactly? What kind of benefit is it giving Vader? What kind of power does it hold? Why is it glowing red? Is this Dagobah? Is this not Dagobah? Obviously, in my opinion, this is not Dagobah, regardless of the planet looking pretty much like a clone version of the planet. This is actually said to be very Dagobah-esque, but it's not Dagobah. Vader's going to be walking through knee-deep water 
with a lot of fog around him and embracing this new type of power that will be explored in the inside of this structure. And it could very well be something very similar to what we saw in Star Wars Legends. There's a lot of things just like that that were portrayed in different ways. And I think the fact that of what Hayden said here, of how Vader's gonna be the angriest he has ever been, it goes to show you that it's gonna to connect to the empathetic side of him. We have heard that there's gonna be some Padme Amidala lines thrown in the show to kind of motivate Vader's anger and to make him go on these different quests, most likely to resurrect her or some way, shape or form, like in the comics. Now, you McGregor, all right, he also was able to reveal that the fight between myself and Hayden was intense. We are going to be giving the fans the best duel that you have ever seen in the franchise, and we are very excited to show everybody what we have that will change the meaning of our encounter in A New Hope. This is a big deal, because when you guys actually watch A New Hope, there's a famous line in there where he says, A presence I have not felt since. And everybody would assume at this point in time before Kenobi releases that that is in reference to when Kenobi is, you know, on Mustafar, defeats Anakin slash Vader, and leaves. Now, what Deborah Chow is doing is that she's reworking that meaning in A New Hope. And what she's doing here is that their confrontation, which by the way, there's going to be two major confrontations between both Vader and Kenobi as well as other ones where they bump into each other in between. Two major duels though in this show between Kenobi and Vader. The fact that they are going to be reinventing that meaning of that line in A New Hope is a big deal for two major reasons. Number one, this actually connects to the leaks that it's actually Kenobi that's going to lose in this show. That it's going to be Kenobi that is the one that faces defeat and is thought to be dead in the Kenobi series. Hence why Darth Vader not, might not be, you know, thinking about Kenobi for the next 10 plus years, give or take. The other thing is this, is that it is going to provide fans a different version of how we view the battle between both Obi-Wan and Vader in A New Hope. And that to me is a big deal because Vader also says, you know, you should have not come back. And the biggest question of all now is, come back since when? This connects to their connection, of course, in the Kenobi series, their new duel that they're going to face in with. But on the on side of all of this, this first look at Darth Vader is truly amazing. You can see what they have done with the silhouette vibe to it, with the glowing control panel, the fog from the back to tank, and just everything about Darth Vader's castle. We already know that we are going to be actually seeing different parts of the castle this time around, so if you guys are familiar with Darth Vader Immortal, it's actually simply called Vader Immortal, it's a VR video game, and if you have seen the cutscenes, go ahead and check them out, you get brand new views of the castle. Apparently Deborah Chow looked into all of that and placed that in the Kenobi TV series, and that's exactly why I think a lot of fans need to be excited for Darth Vader's return in this show. It's going to be a truly more sinister version of Darth Vader than what you have ever seen before in the past. And that to me is true passion. Deborah Chow really seems to be on her A game. She's gonna do a fantastic job. And I believe that she could very well be up there with one of the best directors in the Star Wars franchise. So overall guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.